was scared to tell him what, I, why, why I was not happy not going to school. I was scared of telling him why does it feel right for you to just go and slang drugs in the streets every day without feeling that some kind of conscience? Because I was scared of the repercussions, the repercussions which happened at the time where if I, would, if I know if I would, like one time I tried to tell him that that's not right. Before I know it, there's a fight goes on with it. Then I got scared of, oh, if I'm trying to say the right thing, it's probably not sounding right to him. So I had fear of communicating. Raw P was among the most promising female hip hop MCs to come from Tanzania. A few years ago, after relocating to America, her career stumbled. I went to school for a good two years. And in between school, I would try to handle a job here and a job there. But on top of that, apart from financial support from my family, which I, I did not get after I got here. The moment I got here, the financial support stopped. We caught up with her a few weeks ago in Houston, Texas, to learn what happened and what she is doing at the moment. I met a man. Who we? I'd say we fell in love. And I explained to him and told him I may not be able to go to school if I cannot pay for my school fees. He promised me, he said, I'm going to take you to school. I'm going to make sure your school is paid for. And before I knew it, I got pregnant with my first child. Eventually, my husband at the time never wanted to hear anything about school, about me going to school, going to study, because it always felt like I'm probably pursuing a bigger part of me that he's not capable to handle. I just became a stay-at-home mom. I tried to go to school. I tried to do online schooling, where I can do a list of medical billing and in the meantime, while I'm still at home, because I just wasn't happy being at home doing nothing other than watch and, and, and raise a child, and I don't have nothing to fall back for. If anything happens to this man, I'll never have a backup plan. Got to a time I found out the man I was with is a, was a drug, was a drug lord. He trades drugs from one complex to another complex to another complex to another apartment complex, and he had the whole neighborhood down packed. Domestic abuse was there, yes. A lot of fighting was going on because I felt I was not moving to, to, to the direction where I wanted to go, but I was stuck here because I'm claiming to love this person. And the person is claiming to love me back, but there is no kind of order in between there. And before I knew it, I got pregnant with a second child. With the second child, it's about the same time when he gets caught. So he's currently doing about 25 years. Everything changes in one night abruptly. He gets arrested. I have nowhere to go. I'm sitting in the house thinking, what is my next move? Remember, I'm not supposed to be working in this country as far as I'm alive. So, I go again under depression, second session of depression. I was already going through depression, but this is another second session of depression because I'm by myself. So what do I start doing? I'm drinking, drinking, drinking. I finally end up going to jail. And that was my hardest moment, hardest moment, very hard. If I never, if I never been any grateful to nobody or been appreciative about other people's lives, this was the time when God sat me down and told me, you need to sit down and look at yourself. That's the toughest, toughest moment I ever had. 
And my, my baby boy was, what, five months old? My daughter was two years old. Now a mother of two children, Ra P is hopeful about resurrecting her career. Recently, she was involved in a song with Rwandese superstar Alpha Ruangira. I feel my journey is still there. I still have a lot to do for me to be able to get to where the first idea I had of me coming to America that I have to come and achieve this as a dream for me. I haven't yet got there yet. And that's my goal for me to get there. So no matter what is in between at the time, I'm taking it as a path for me to get to where I'm supposed to go.